I'm checking the trail cams next to where I dug last. Check this out. Good day folks, thanks for tuning in. I'm at the brook. We're gonna do some panning, some test panning. We're gonna classify material down. Let me show you what we're doing. So the brook comes down right here, and it also comes down right here. The reason for that is because what's behind me is an island. There is a slope coming out of the ravine on this side and on this side. So at one point, this became an island who knows how many years ago. So where that inside bend is, that's actually not bank, that's silted material that got pushed when this current crossed the current here and created somewhat of an eddy that pushed all the material over. So I'm gonna dig that out and let me show you how I'm gonna classify. Here's the tools we're gonna use. Coffee, half inch classifier, down to a quarter, down to a 12 classifier. The quarter inch goes into the Tupperware, the 12 into the Tupperware. These get panned individually. What's left, the 12 minus that is in the bucket will all get panned out. And the half inch, uh, I'm not sure I'm gonna find anything in half inch. I'd, I'd probably fall over and no one would even see this video. But anyway, the reason that I'm classifying all this stuff down is I'm trying to figure out this area, test pan, and classifying is easier for me. I am not the greatest panner in the world. I just, I don't have the patience for it. So when I get home, usually I classify everything in the basement and that works for me. So I'm gonna do it on the river. And that way, hopefully I find some nice garnets. It'll separate the material better. And we can kind of see a little bit more about the rocks that are in this area of Vermont. We're gonna start with our 12 plus material. So when you're classifying and you're trying to learn what the different meshes mean, if it's 12 mesh, that means there's 12 holes across and 12 holes down on a square inch. So there's 144 holes per square inch. First pan, one little tiny piece. So I just found layers of clay. There's actually not a lot of material in this clay at all. So I'm finding an occasional piece. I'm gonna do a couple more pans and then move on to another spot. I'm standing on the split on the other end where the brook divides. Where everything starts meeting there's all this material right here. So I'm gonna dig in here, do some pans, and I'm not gonna classify this time, I'm just gonna pan right through stuff.
chunk. Nothing from that area where the brook divides. I'll tell you, sometimes when I'm working out these areas, I just pause for a minute and I just take a look. And I just can't believe some of these places. If you've never been to a brook in Vermont, it's just every state has its own look. Vermont is just, this isn't even green yet. This is gonna get jungle real soon. So those are the bits for the day. This piece is very, very coated with iron. A lot of pans, not a lot of pieces. I'll be back at it tomorrow. So not only do I have two different, well I had two different laces, completely different kinds, they both snapped. So I'm hiking out of here with no shoelaces. Hotel Tacoma. Morning. It's about 4.40 a.m. And uh, it's time to start a new day. Birds are out. Love it. This morning we're gonna work this area. This is day two. I had been here before on a previous trip. I didn't film that. Just, it was kind of like one of those days where, hey, let's see what's under here. I did find gold here, so I'm gonna keep digging this out. And let me explain what this area is. So you have this mound right here. And then you can see all these gravels that got washed right in. This was a flood stage. So if I come down here, you'll get a better view. See the little island? It's tiny. All gravel deposits. This used to be the bank. Now the bank's right there. When the brook is in high volume, I saw it earlier this year as winter was coming and going. This was all water over here. So this now was a natural part of the brook. On the board, we have a piece.
That bad boy just freed up some serious material underneath. This is from that boulder hole. Talk about a serious piece of clay. That's all clay, this whole piece. We'll take it. I'm gonna pack up and head home and I'll show you the results when I get back to the house. See you in a second. I'm back home and here's what I got. So these pieces are actually copper. I found a lot of copper in the brook. After some research, I found that copper was heavily mined in this area. And here's the bits, the gold bits. Now some of these pieces I do believe have copper mixed into them. It only makes sense. So it might not even be iron staining. I'm not a geologist. But anyway, it's neat to find copper. It's definitely something I don't come across all the time. Just want to say thanks for watching. Uh, please excuse the grubby appearance. I just got home from work. So two things to mention real quick, that screaming guitar solo you heard, that's local Boston-based musician Eric Salt. I love his music, links in the description. Also one other thing real quick is, I talked to Scott from 802 Outdoor Explorers last week on the phone. Wicked nice guy. If you have not seen his channel yet, I'm gonna leave a link to his channel in the description also. He does gold panning in Vermont, and at some point I'm gonna get together with him and go out for an adventure for the day. Thanks everyone, hope you're doing great. Be well. Oh, and by the way, check out this frog.